CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5. This is the chapter 10 Tenths and Hundredths. Part 1. Page 134. What was the length of the smallest pencil you have used? How long is this pencil? Guess. Dash centimeters. Measure it using a scale. How good is your guess? We can see that Anju used a lens to make it look bigger. Given below is a picture of Anju thinking and talking to herself. It is more than three centimeters. We see the pencil being looked through the magnifying glass. Here, one centimeter has ten equal parts, so each part is one tenth of a centimeter. One tenth of a centimeter is called one millimeter. This knowledge is given to us by one of the flies passing by. And that same fly then sits on the scale and tells us when we look at it through the lens, see, I am three millimeters long. Meanwhile, Anju now realizes that the pencil is how long? Oh, so this pencil is three centimeters and six millimeters long. And this time we see a little bigger fly on the scale, telling us, but I am longer, seven tenth of a centimeter or millimeters. We also call one tenth of a centimeter as 0 0.1 centimeter. We read it as 0 0.1 centimeter. So, one millimeter is the same as 0 0.1 centimeter. Page 135. What is the length of this pencil? Dash millimeters. What is its length in centimeters? We see a small pencil put up against a scale and being looked at through a lens. We need to observe and give the correct answer. Frogs. Have you seen frogs? Where? How many different types of frogs have you seen? Are all the frogs of the same length? Here are two interesting examples. Gold frogs. This kind of frog is among the smallest in the world. Its length is only 0 0.9 centimeter. Guess how many such frogs can sit on your little finger? Bullfrog. But this is among the biggest frogs. It is as long as 30.5 centimeters. Given below are the pictures of both gold frogs and bullfrogs. We can really understand how much is the difference between their lengths. One only as tiny as 0.9 centimeter and the other one so huge as 30.5 centimeters. Just imagine, kids. What does 0 0.9 centimeter mean? It is the same as dash millimeters. We can also say this is 9 tenths of a centimeter. Right? So, 30.5 centimeters is the same as dash centimeters and dash millimeter. About how many of the big frogs will fit on the one meter scale? If they sit in a straight line, about how many of the small frogs will cover one meter? Practice time. 1. Length of the nail, 2 centimeters and dash millimeter or 2 point dash centimeters. Next to the question is given a nail being looked at through the glass or lens 
against a scale. Page 136. 2. On top of the page, there is a lady finger put up against a measuring scale. The length of this lady's finger or bindi is dash centimeter and dash millimeter. We can also write it as dash centimeters. 3. Using the scale on this page, find the difference in length between candle 1 and candle 3. On the left side of the page, we can see three candles of different sizes. There is a table of three columns and six rows to the right side. Column 1 heading is length of and then the rows read as candle 1, flame 1, candle 2, flame 2, candle 3, flame 3. Column 2 represents length in centimeters and millimeter. Column 3 is for length in centimeters. You have to use the scale on this page and find the difference in length between candle 1 and candle 3. Guess and color. First, color the rods as shown without measuring. Then check. We can see a lot of small and big rods on the bottom of the page. Rods of length less than 1 cm, red. Rods of length between 1 cm and 2 cm, blue. Rods of length between 2 cm and 3 cm, green. Rods of length between 3 cm and 4 cm, orange. Page 137 Guess, Draw and Measure Guess the lengths to draw these things. Ask your friend to draw the same. After you make the drawing, use a scale to measure the length. Whose drawing showed a better guess? We have a table of three columns. Column 1 heading is Guess its length and draw. Row 1 says An ant of length less than 1 cm. Row 2 says, pencil of length about 7 cm. Row 3 says, a glass 11 cm high with water up to 5 cm. Row 4 says, a bangle of perimeter 20 cm. Row 5 says, a curly hair of length 16 cm. Column 2 heading is, Measure of your drawing. Column 3 heading is Measure of your friend's drawing. Column 2 and column 3 are empty. You have to guess and fill up the answers. Our eyes get confused. Which line is longer, A or B? Measure each line and write how long it is in centimeters. How good is your guess? Below this are given two lines with arrows marked on both their ends, line A and line B. To the left side and bottom of the page, we have again two lines perpendicular to each other. They are marked as C and D. Which line is longer, C or D? Measure each line. How good is your guess? The chapter 10 Tenths and Hundredths Part 1 Of total 14 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Sound Recordists Butelang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production by Meenakshi Kukreti Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by CIET 
एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया